Rita Harris is the founder and CEO of Living Life Team, a nonprofit organization that serves those who are blind and visually impaired. She has a phenomenal story, and you'll hear all about it today on Babby's House. Babby's House is coming your way right now. Hello everyone and welcome to Babby's House where everybody is a member of the family and you know that always includes you. I'm Babby Mason, the host of, to, of the show. And I am blessed to have as my very special guest, Rita Harris. And Rita Harris is the founder and CEO of Living Life Team. And Living Life Team is a nonprofit organization in uh, Madison, Georgia, and it serves those who are blind and visually impaired. And Rita Harris fits in that category. She has a powerful God story, and you're going to hear all about it in just a few moments. But I want to kick off today's show with a song that I believe will encourage your heart, just reminding you that no one, no one ever cares for you like Jesus. I would love to tell you what I think of Jesus. Since I found in him a friend so strong and true, I would tell you how he changed my life completely. He did something that no other friend could do. No Like Jesus, there's no other friend so kind as he. No one else can take my sin and darkness from. He 
cares for me. Welcome back to Babby's House. I would like to introduce you to Rita Harris. And Rita Harris is the founder and CEO of Living Life Team. And Living Life Team is a nonprofit organization that serves those who are visually impaired in that area of Georgia. And Rita Harris is also a person who is visually impaired. And she has, she's not always been uh, blind. She uh, acquired this later on in life. We're going to hear the details of her powerful story. I want you to welcome to Babby's house, Rita Harris. Rita is my friend. It's so good to be with you again. Thank you. And we, were, we were together. I was a guest there at Living Life Team a few months ago. Yes. And I was able to uh, experience for myself this beautiful, Beautiful organization called Living Life Team. And it's just, it was so powerful. It was really a life changing opportunity to be there with you all um, on that day that I was your special guest. But I want you to kind of take me back to the beginning and tell me a little bit of your own story. Okay. You told me off camera that you've not always been blind, but your blindness occurred later on in life. Can you tell me a little bit about that story? Yes, absolutely. Um, by the way, it is, it, I'm, so ecstatic to be here today. Well, that, well, that makes yes. two of us. I'm ecstatic <laughs> yeah, to have you because yes. you're one of my you're one of my champions. It was a life changing oh, experience to be with you all. Thank you. But um, going back to my the beginning of my journey, um, it was the year of 2002. Is when I was I lost a large percent, 80 percent of my vision, um, where I was correctly diagnosed. Before then, I had was experiencing vision loss, but I was misdiagnosed. Um, but in 2002 was the turning point in my life. Wow. Um, I was referred to a retina specialist, and that is where I was. It was determined that I have RP, which is retinitis pigmentosa. Yes. Wow. Yes. Powerful story. Yes. So when you, because this came on later on in life, how were you able to cope with this? It was a very difficult transition, so to speak. Um, and looking at the aspect of it from mental to physical, um, I, at first I was in total denial. Wow. I did not cope with it. That's what makes the transition so difficult. I, um, I was ashamed of myself because I didn't feel like I was whole. I wasn't me because I had to stop doing a lot of things that I was accustomed to doing. I had to stop driving, stop working. I worked with children with disability, learning disabilities. Um, I wasn't able to perform on the job any longer. Um, there was no reader no identity to Rita anymore because there was no me time. I went from um, being on my own, very independent, to holding someone's hand to get around and so forth. So it was very, very difficult. Well, I've seen you navigate on a couple of occasions and you do quite well. <laughs> I don't see you holding on to much except that beautiful cane you have yes. over there to your left. <laughs> So how did you get there, Miss Rita? How did you get from this person who was frustrated and, and ashamed to this person who is now thriving? And not only thriving, you're helping others to thrive. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that journey. Yes. I, you know, to sum it up in a nutshell, God is amazing. Yes. God is awesome. It is because of God that I made it through. Um, because when I was ashamed... I isolate, went into isolation, and after that follows depression. Yeah. Um, I had given up hope on life. I did not want to live anymore. I felt as though I was a failure. I did not have a purpose. Um, but I've always had a foundation, a strong foundation of God. It's just that sometimes when you're going through trials and tribulations, you kind of put that foundation on a back burner because you're so consumed with what you're dealing with at that time. But it never fails. God came up. He showed up and showed out. 
um, he spoke to me and said, this is not the way I intended for you to live. That you are great. I have made you uniquely and beautiful and you have a purpose. You have work to do. And through that, I was able to reach out and find a resource with, uh, as a mobility instructor who came to my home, introduced me to the white tip cane, which I'd never heard of or seen before. And through that, we, I received trainings and it just kept building and building and building. And one thing led to another. Absolutely. Well, Miss Miss Rita Harris, you one thing did lead to another, and it has led to another. Mm -hmm. And God has given you those innate those innate abilities to encourage others. There's an innate strength that you have mm -hmm. that you impart to others, and it comes so easily. It's 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 just sweatless to you. You're a natural born leader, and I've seen you uh, in action in your meeting in your in your meetings there in Madison, Georgia, in your Living Life Team meetings. So how did you get to the place where you said? Listen, I got to help others. I am, I'm being helped. God is helping me. God is strengthening me. And I want to help others. Where, how, did, how was Living Life Team born? It was born, of course, through my own, my own experiences. And once I received the training that I need and I became independent, um, I wanted to just give back to the world, not just the community, but to the world. I mean, I, re I went from using a white tip cane to being a guide dog user. And once I became a guide dog user, okay, God, I'm ready. I'm ready to tackle the world at this point. And I um, committed myself. I fell on my knees and prayed to God and committed myself at that point that my life would never be about me again. It would be 100% dedicated to serving others through his will. And that's where the vision of Living Life Team was birthed. Yes. That's where it came Well, from. I've been there. I was at a meeting, one of your meetings. Now, how often do you all meet? We meet once a month, every second Thursday mornings of the month. Okay, so I mm -hmm. came down on a second Thursday of the month a few mm -hmm. months ago yes. and uh, fellowshiped with your team, mm -hmm. with, their, with those that are a part of your group. Now, who, who qualifies to be a part of Living Life Team? Anyone that has vision loss. Um, and there is, it is a wide spectrum when you say um, vision impairment, legally blind, to blindness. It doesn't matter. As long as you have vision loss, you qualify. And it doesn't matter where you live because we're not just restricted to Madison, Georgia, which is Morgan County. We're now serving clients um, over eight different counties in the, in the area. Wonderful. And what kind yes. of services do you offer? Well, the um, support group under the Umbrella Living Life team, of course, we have the support group. And we also offer, through certified trainers, we offer mobility cane training, technology training, daily living skills training, uh, anything from managing your medications, um, to transportation, being able to travel using public transportations. We do fun outside the box um, outings because all of these is a stepping stone to building your self-esteem, your confidence, and independence. Look at you, Miss Rita. I'm telling you, this is amazing. When I came to the meeting, I saw people of different um, ages and mm -hmm. uh, men and women and uh, different abilities, and it was just a beautiful thing to behold. Yes. So, now that you, how long? How long have you been? Um, uh, has Living Life Team been in organization? Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. Yes. Well, you know, eight is the number of new beginnings. Yes. And so great things are in store for your group. And I just want to encourage those who are watching today that, you know, maybe there is a way that they can start a similar organization in their town or in their church or in their community. Yes. Because uh, people who are blind or visually impaired are everywhere. And people who have these kinds of needs are everywhere. So once you began to see this take shape, Miss Rita, mm -hmm. and you threw out this call and people actually came mm -hmm. to the meetings. Yes. They actually started coming to the meetings. So what did that do for you? What did that affirm and confirm in your life that, hey, this, this really, there really is a call on my life. Yes. There can be a purpose <laughs> even in my pain. There can be a purpose for this. What was that like? Yes, it was an amazing, ama totally amazing moment because where I had lost hope on life itself 
and did not remember my, know my purpose for living, God, you were right. You do have a purpose for me and I am willing to serve because I always say there are two powerful words in the vocabulary and they're simple words. One is fear and the other one is faith. Yes. Fear is powerful and I like to use acronyms because fear, I like to say fear is just simply having false evidence appearing real and it could consume everything positive about you but then faith is overpowering over fear. And the acronym for faith that I use is having the Father Almighty in the heart. Oh, I like that. And once you have that in your heart, it squashed fear. Yes, it overcomes fear yes. every time. Mm -hmm. Faith overcomes fear every yes. time. So tell me, Miss Rita, what is it like knowing that there are people who come to the meetings whose lives are being touched, whose mm -hmm. lives are being changed? There, what kind of feedback are you getting from those who are a part of your group? Oh, yes, I get feedback constantly um, that from where they were before they started, they were depressed. Um, they had lost self-esteem, confidence, and of course their independence. And, and like me, they would given up on life as well. But being with Living Life Team, they're learning to love themselves again. And also learning to love God because we introduce God to them as well. Yes. Yes. Now this is an ongoing journey. Yes. You told me that mm -hmm. you did have a guide dog mm -hmm. and you lost your guide dog to cancer. Yes. How long did you have your guide dog? For eight years. Oh, so he was really an integral part of your life. Yes. So yes. when he passed, that was, a, that was a big loss. Yes, it was. So I'm sorry to hear about that loss. Yes. So are you working on getting another guide dog? What's, oh, what's the process for that? Absolutely. Um, through Lee Little Dog for the Blind in Rochester Hills, Michigan. They are amazing. Um, you have to complete um, in a written application as well as video recordings. You have to submit videos of yourself in a, in a route using your white tip cane, crossing traffic light intersections, four way stop signs. Um, going up and down stairs, going in and out of businesses, because you, in order to be an efficient guide dog handler, you have to have a certain level of cane skills already established. Very good. Well, we're just going to just pray and believe God is going to supply your needs yes. concerning your, your guide dog. Well, listen, Miss Rita, you just sit right there because after this break, we're going to hear something very, very special that you have composed and you're going to share with us. We're looking forward to that. So listen, my friend, don't go anywhere. After this break, we're going to come back with more conversation with Rita Harris, who is the founder of Living Life Team, a service for those who are visually impaired or suffering from blindness. So listen, don't go anywhere after this break we're going to come back with more stick around we'll be right back after this Well, welcome back to Babby's House. I have been talking with Rita Harris, and she is the founder and CEO of Living Life Team, a nonprofit organization that provides a very unique support system for people who are blind or visually impaired. And on the way to the break, I said to those who are suffering from blindness or visual or who are visually impaired, and you can look at Rita Harris and, and see that she's not suffering. So I had to, I had to, I have to re uh, just correct my my language because Miss Rita Harris, you are thriving and you are teaching others to thrive mm -hmm. and blindness happens to be a part of your story but you are using that story to give God so much glory yes. and you're giving people their lives back you're helping people to thrive in their story and in their journey and teaching them to use skills that many of them haven't had to uh, the opportunity to yeah. share or to use now you're also a writer and you have written a very special poem that you would like to share with us today so I'm going to give you the floor okay Thank you, thank you. And um, the title of this poem, this is very dear to me. It comes from within my heart, having Father Almighty in the heart. Um, the title of the poem is The Gift from Within. God, you have given me the gift of a mind to think and be creative, but yet I cannot see what I am creating. You have gifted me a voice to speak kind words and encourage others along the way. But yet, I cannot see to whom I am speaking. 
Oh God, you have gifted me hands to touch and feel all the things around me, but yet I cannot see what I am touching. Yes, God, you have gifted me a heart to love and have compassion for serving others, but yet I cannot see whom I am serving. God, you have gifted me a nose to smell all the sweet aromas of the world, but I cannot see the world. Oh God, you have gifted me ears to hear all the amazing sounds of nature in which you created, but yet I cannot hear the birds singing their sweet melodies. I cannot see the trees with the wind blowing, making the rustling sound of leaves. I cannot see the ocean producing waves pounding against the shores. Oh God, you have gifted me this journey to walk, but yet I cannot see my path. Oh, but yes, God, now I clearly see that you have gifted me the most precious, ultimate gift of all. The gift to see that through you, my eyes are perfect in all your gifts. And that is the gift that lies from within. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, that is amazing. That's beautiful, Miss Rita Thank Harris. You. What a beautiful poem. And thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you. So now how can we get more information or maybe get a copy of the poem or get information about Living Life Team? Maybe someone is watching. They may be, yes. Maybe they'd like to start a chapter in their city. Oh, how can absolutely. they contact you? Yes, um, we have a website, which is www.livinglifeteam.net. That is livinglifeteam.net. And there's my contact information is on the page. Email address is on the page. Um, so, and you can also contact me at 706-474-0404 as well. Very I'm an good. open book and love to share information. Yes, you are. You are an open book, and I've been a beneficiary of that open book, of that transparency. Once again, Rita Harris, thank you for being my very special guest, and it sure is good to be with you again. Thank you. Absolutely, and we look forward to seeing those again in, in Madison, Georgia, and I'm your guest anytime I can get over there and, <laughs> and be with you again and see you all. We'd love to have you. My, I'd love to be back. <laughs> Well, once again, my dear friend, I'm so grateful that you took time out of your busy day to be with us here at Babby's House and to enjoy wonderful, beautiful guests like Rita Harris. And I know she is a true joy to you today. I want to encourage you to visit my website, which is babby.com, first name only, babby.com. And there you'll see my concert calendar and the places where in the future where I'm going to be singing or leading worship. And I also have my internet radio station, which is Babby Mason Radio. You can access Babby Mason Radio right there from the website by clicking the Listen Live button that's right there on the homepage of the website and enjoy beautiful music and encouraging words 24 hours a day. Even in the middle of the night, if you can't sleep, if you can't rest, or in the middle of the day, if you need encouraging words or beautiful music, you can check out BabbyMasonRadio.com and be our very special guest. Well, listen, I love you and thank you so very much for watching Babby's House. And until the next time we get together around this table, may the Lord God bless you and yours real good. Until then, God bless you.